here. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, come on. Uh. Well, 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 hello again, my handsome giant. What are you doing here? Ah, you're back from slaying those rats. Huh, fair play. I know you're strong, but I didn't think it would take you that quick. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but still, that's still incredible. Also, there's something I wanted to ask you. Well, are you a sunrise? Because you're bringing warmth and light into my world. Aww. <laughs> are you a rainbow? Because you light up the sky after a storm. <laughs> oh, come on. I got loads more if you want to hear them, handsome. Alright, fine, fine. What can I do for you, anyway? Oh, is that right? You want to spend some time with me, huh, gorgeous? <laughs> I have to say, I'm very flattered. I thought you'd be out there celebrating after dealing with all those awful rats and everything. Oh, okay, 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 I see, I see. So all your other companions are off in the marketplace getting their own supplies and everything. I'm surprised you didn't go with them. Oh, okay. Hmm, so what did you get then? Potions for health, extra stamina. Ooh, hold on. Is that a new weapon on your back? <laughs> oh, come on, let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Yep. Good old Terry did the really good job on this hammer for you. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. <laughs> I have to confess, I think you're already strong enough without it. But, like you say, you've got to be a little bit careful out there. Oh? You want to get to know me? Well, of course, I'm an open book. You can ask anything you like, my handsome giant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good memory, you're right. I'm not from this village at all. I live in a little city down to the south. <laughs> Would you believe it if I told you I left home at the age of 17, seeking for my own fortunes? I mean, for sure, the idea of becoming an adventurer was definitely the first of my priorities in the beginning. I joined the little guild for a while. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say I met some people to work with, with dealing with little jobs here and there, but nothing too fancy, I have to confess. <laughs> Yet again, your memory serves you well. I did say I'm a bit of a wuss. <laughs> Not much of a fighter. That's why I say I only took small jobs, because anything bigger than that I used to kind of <laughs> get all shaky and nervous about that kind of thing. And I'm still on to this day, to be fair with you. Did I stay as an adventurer for long? I have to be honest with you, I didn't. I ended up finding out that as much as I enjoyed meeting new people in that regard, and going on adventures were fun, but exceedingly it started to show that I haven't had the knack for it. So I decided to join a different guild altogether. No, no, not another hero's guild of sorts. It's more I decided to go a different route altogether. So I decided to join the marketing guild instead, selling my wares wherever I go. Hmm. I decided to have my own little wagon after the money I saved up from adventuring, and I started to do little businesses here and there, you know, selling what was uh, popular at the time, from animal skins, uh, food and vegetables, shields, armor, anything that people were willing to trade with me, that kind of thing. And I spent many years doing that, and learning the trade is exceedingly much more interesting than you think. Yes, exactly. It actually can be very different from what you imagined it is. Well, example, 
it is very exciting to experience the feeling of knowing how to stay ahead of your competition and keep in mind of the value of money in the process and keeping an eye on what is still valued as time goes on. Yes, valued. Because as much as gold, silver, and copper pieces are great and everything, it is about who is actually still in charge, who is still the figurehead of the kingdom himself. Because the last thing you want to do is to walk around with an invalid coin. Invalid, yes. There is a point in time where coin becomes less valuable as time goes on if you don't pay attention to what other people are saying. So obviously you've got to stay in tuned and informed of what's going on. Ah, <laughs> I do deeply sorry if this is not something you're interested in, Handsome. It's just the way I've been, you know, doing my business for so long. Oh, you don't mind? <laughs> ah, you're very sweet. Thank you. Also, if you were a puppy, I would welcome you to my open arms, full of love. <laughs> Oh, look at you. So bright red for Misa and uh, so cute. Hmm, now saying that, I don't think you're a puppy. No, 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 I think. <laughs> I have to ask. Are you a lighthouse? Because in the sea of faces, you guide me home. That's right. You're like a lighthouse. Because you're crazy tall. And, I have to admit, I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> Alright, okay, okay. I'll continue telling you more about myself. So yes, after being a traveling merchant for so long, I finally arrived here, selling my wares. Everything was going pretty well for me, to be fair. Mm-hmm, that's right. I was quite proud of myself, I have to be honest with you. <laughs> I saved up so much coin over the years to the point where, what's the word for it? The fear of being destitute was definitely far from my eye, you know? I never worried about it, let's put it that way. Well, let's see, what was I selling when I first got here? Hmm. I think I was selling apples and animal hide. What kind of hide? Hmm. Ah, now I remember. It was wolf skins. Yeah, I got it from another trader from another town not too far from here. <laughs> they wanted to trade something with me, and I said, yeah, of course, not the problem at all. So I think I traded nails, I believe. Mm-hmm. I think I sold about 12,000 nails. Oof. 10, maybe 30 planks of wood. They wanted to build a home for themselves and everything, and I had the materials, we traded a little bit here and there. Anyway, <clears throat> when I finally got to the market, everyone was quite, you know, busy doing their own thing. But then, for some reason or another, everyone started to notice me being a, a, a new person in the market. They started to ask me questions where I got the wolf skins, and what kind of breed were the wolf. And somebody picked up one of the wolf skins to examine the quality of the wolf hide. They took a massive whiff of it just to smell it for some reason or another. And they were just amazed by it. Well, here's the thing, my handsome giant. What happened was, because I had my apples in the bottom of my little wagon, I put the fur on top of it, and nobody noticed that part. So when they sniffed it, they could smell the aroma of the apple, and judged it as high quality wolf hide. I couldn't believe my luck. So they turned around and basically said to me, I would want to buy all your wolf hides off you, basically. Shocked at first, but I basically asked how much were they willing to, um, you know, pay for the hide. 500 gold. I'm not kidding. I was blown away by it, honestly. Right. After that happened, the gentleman in question disappeared for a bit and came back with a charter of agreement in purchasing of the hide. He handed me the gold, 
And of course, I celebrated quite hard in the clansmen that night. I couldn't believe how fortunate and how blessed I was to have this opportunity, so I feasted and drank my heart's content. Now, here's where it gets interesting. That night in particular, I got into chatting with the original owner of the clansmen. Yes, indeed. And anyway, me and him ended up having a very interesting conversation. So it went basically like this. They were struggling to get customers to come back in and obviously having enough uh, supplies and enough alcohol and food to, you know, satisfy the patrons who come in. So, of course, I assisted in saying that I would more than happily help in any way I possibly could. Mm. So, in the next morning, I decided to get in contact with some of the old connections I've basically built over the years of being a traveling merchant, contacting people who were more proficient in knowing the quality of good booze and great food and everything else. In the next couple of weeks, the clansmen started to thrive a lot more. And here's the best part. Remember when I mentioned about the gentleman who bought all those nails and plywood from me? So I got in contact with him to do some repairs over the clansmen as well because it wasn't looking as well as it was before. In a matter of months, the clansmen had a complete makeover. <laughs> I know, what chances of that? It's like fate had something in plan for me. But anyway, after that happened, the original owner of the clansmen was so grateful for my assistance to the point where he wrote up an apprenticeship contract with me. I am very serious, my handsome giant. <laughs> so what ended up happening was, I ended up working for him for the next three, four years, ending up helping basically keeping the books of making sure we had the right resources and fresh vegetables and the finest alcohol I could get my hands on. And then, well, the day I became the owner was probably the most <clears throat> Surprising of all things, because unfortunately, the original owner of the clansman was a very old man anyway. And this is where it gets a little dark, but don't worry, it does have a good ending, I promise. So, he ends up being very ill one winter. And obviously everyone in the village was trying their best to try and make sure he was comfortable and well looked after, getting the right healers involved. But every healer we brought in kept saying the same thing where it's just his time. Obviously I was a bit heartbroken and worried what's going to happen to the clansmen and everything else. But he died. And everyone was really sad. We had a really lovely service for him and then as I was being prepared to well be on my merry way because now I have lost my employer and somebody who was teaching me everything he knew I ended up having a letter from his solicitor well inside that letter <laughs> you're not gonna believe this it was the deed for the inn and I was now the sole owner of the inn, of the clansmen. All I had to do was basically write my name on the dotted line, and it was mine. <laughs> exactly. I was taken so much back from it all. I was really shocked. It took me a day to decide, because I will confess, yes, I had a few years of experience of how to keep the books in, you know, keeping track of what was coming in and what was coming out, but actually running it all by myself? I was really nervous about it. But also, I felt like it was my duty to do this service for him. What I mean is that it'd be wrong of me to leave this place without somebody taking care of it. So, after I made that decision, I wrote the dotted line, sent it back, and the next day or so, it was mine. And ever since then, I haven't really left. I've been looking after it, trying to add new sections to the inn, where now 
adventurers can bring their horses and carriages over, you know, making sure the horses are fed with proper hay and water. And then, as you can hear in the distance, you can hear the chickens going off. But the only reason I got chickens is just to save a little bit of money when I have to go to the market to get other, you know, food and supplies. And, you know, why not, ain't it? I have been thinking about trying to get some goats, but that's a later date. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty, uh, pretty insane how it's all played out. And you know what the best part about it all is? I got to meet you as well, and many others. So, you know, it's probably the best decision I've ever made. Anyway, what's your plans now after defeating all those rats anyway? Do you think you're going to move on to the next village and, you know, solve their problems and everything? Oh, you and your companions haven't decided yet. Well, there's no rush. I was gonna say, if you were gonna stay a little bit longer, why don't you and your companions go off and celebrate the Harvest Festival tomorrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. They do all these kind of really amazing foods, and they do have a little, you know, a few games here and there as well, if that was something you were interested in. Maybe me and you can go off a little bit as well, if you like. I mean, you can call it a day if you like. I'm just saying, you know, I would like to meet your companions and get to know them properly. I know you told me about them, but I'd like to have, you know, an actual proper chat with them as well. So what do you say? Would that be something you're interested in? Okay, great. Uh, listen, I gotta do a few more errands around my inn and everything, but um, <clears throat> I'll meet you tomorrow with, say, noonish. Okay, great. I'll see you then, my handsome giant.